Welcome to the second lecture video on synaptic neurotransmitter release. In this video, we will explore how toxins, specifically botulinum toxin, can disrupt the vesicle release machinery. Botulism is a neuroparalytic disease caused by neurotoxins produced by the bacteria Clostridium botulinum. This is an anaerobic bacteria that thrives in oxygen deficient environments like the inside of contaminated food cans. There are seven different botulinum toxins, or botoxes, produced by different strains of the bacteria. Types A, B, E, and F cause disease in humans, whereas the others affect birds and cattle. Botulinum toxins are the most potent in toxins known, and they target the neuromuscular junction. Types A and B are also clinically used, which will be described later on in the lecture. Botulinum toxin is synthesized as a single chain precursor and cleaved by proteases to generate fully active neurotoxin composed of a light chain and a heavy chain. Light chain and heavy chains are linked together by a single disulfide bond. The heavy chain contains the binding and translocation domains that allow it to target the presynaptic membrane and be internalized into the cell. The light chain is a zinc metalloproteinase that cuts critical vesicle proteins. The top figure shows normal synaptic vesicle fusion. The bottom figure shows the actions of botulinum toxin. In the first step of toxin action, the toxin binds to the plasma membrane at gangliosides containing sialic acids and proteins that have yet to be characterized using the heavy chain. It is then internalized via receptor-mediated endocytosis. Inside the endocytotic vesicle, the heavy and light chains separate by cleavage of the disulfide bond between them. The light chain translocates into the cytosol. Light chain cleaves snare proteins by proteolysis. The two clinically used types, A and B, cleave SNAP25 and synaptobrevin, respectively. The fusion of vesicles to the plasma membrane is blocked and acetylcholine release is inhibited. At the neuromuscular junction, this causes paralysis and possibly death. Clinical uses of botulinum toxin involve conditions where abnormal or unwanted muscle contraction occurs. This includes strabismus, which is a lack of parallelism of the visual axes of the eyes, so crossed eyes, blepharospasm, which is involuntary spasmodic contraction of the eyes, um, it causes spasm of the eyelids, focal dystonias, which is excessive or inappropriate muscle contraction, hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating. There is some usefulness of Botox for chronic migraine treatment, as well as cosmetic uses. In this case of blepharospasm, the patient can open her eyes after injection of botulinum toxin to stop the involuntary eyelid and eyebrow contractions. Here are some examples of more cosmetic use of Botox where the wrinkling in between the eyebrows is drastically decreased after Botox injection.